do you want your home to look from this to this? Stay tuned. Hi guys, thanks for watching my video again. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to design a 4-room HDB apartment. Let's do it now. Hi guys, this is a typical 4-room HDB BTO that might be a little different from yours. Nevertheless, um, I hope you learn some tips from this tutorial. Okay, this uh, apartment is for a family of four. So you can see that um, there's a master bedroom here and two common bedrooms right here and here the living and dining is smack in between bedroom this bedroom bedroom three and bedroom two right so um it's a bit of a challenge because um you know typically a hdb four room bto right the all the rooms are on one side here you know they are all joined together instead of uh, you know one of the common room is being separated from the master and this uh, bedroom okay this is uh, for a family of four so a parents and uh, two young kids a boy and a girl um, so if, if you if you look at the entrance right here um, normally you will need a place for a shoe cabinet right um, from this layout this original layout right, you can see that the space here the lobby um, is actually quite tight okay the only location that you can have for your shoe cabinet is actually here okay which is uh, a little bit shallow right because this is the DB the existing DB um, cabinet with the doors so typically the depth is about 250 to 300 mm so building up a shoe cabinet just beside it and flush with this existing db cabinet right um would not make will not give you a lot of storage yeah okay so um and then when it comes to the dining um if you don't hack this wall away okay basically you are being constrained by the space here right for your dining area which i think is a little bit tight so if you do this um you'll be stuck with uh, a very tight dining area okay um so what i think most homeowners would do would be to either put a bench here Okay, or put a bench here okay and then followed by a table and then probably followed by two chairs or maybe three okay so you can see that you know um, normally this area here this little corner um, I mean if I were you I would not want to sit in there because it feel it feels very cramped and tight right because on the left is a wall okay so it might restrict your movement well of course um, another way would be to you know just tilt the table like that okay and then same thing having the bench here and then two or three chairs crammed in this little dining area um, I just find that the whole space is just too cramped okay so I'll show you later how I'm going to work on this area okay next come to the kitchen okay so kitchen um, the sink inlet and outlet is always here so I'll keep the location of the sink Okay, so what you have right now is basically um, normally, right? Normally, homeowners will just put a fridge here. Okay, and then followed by a top and bottom cabinet. 
right? And then opposite here, right, they will have another row of the top and bottom cabinet. Okay, so this is a, it's a very typical layout, which um, it's not wrong, but it's just uninteresting. Okay, next come to this uh, bedroom. Okay, um, it's basically for the daughter uh, who is about four or five years old. Yeah, so um, typically what you can do is uh, first of all, right, where to put the bed and a wardrobe and perhaps a, a writing desk. Okay, so, but because I'm going to do a little bit of uh, changes here at the entrance, so uh, the wardrobe will have to be um, relocated, right, to, uh, to suit the layout. So a basic layout of this room would be a row of wardrobe, okay, and then a, a single or super single size bed here, okay, the headboard can be, the headrest can be here. And then followed by a writing desk. Okay, so right, this is like a full row of uh, a wardrobe. Right, I mean it's not wrong. Okay, um, it gives you ample wardrobe space here. Okay, but because I'm going to do a little bit of changes here, so later I'll show you. Okay, next come to the living. Um, because I'm going to do some changes here right um, this wall these two walls and the door will be affected okay so um, typically what you're gonna do is right you look for where where is the um, data point and then you will you know you'll construct your TV console right so if it's here then you do a TV console here with the feature wall right your TV mounted here and then your sofa, right, can be a three-seater. Okay. And then a coffee table. And maybe another coffee table here. Okay, um, this is this is what most homeowner would do, right? Right, or you flip over, right? TV console here, then the sofa here. Okay, next uh the master bedroom. Okay, so you can see that the uh, um, for a couple, right, to build a wardrobe here, which is only about 1.8 meter, um, is insufficient. Okay, so um, how to add more wardrobe uh, space for a couple, right? So I'll do some changes to that as well. Um, so once you have your wardrobe here, typically, Um, you can have a king or queen size bed here, doesn't matter, right? Because you leave some space here for for you to walk. And then maybe a side table and then, you know, a king or queen size bed, right? If it's king, then it might just come to here. And then you put another side table, okay? So having a TV or not here is optional, right? Some, some people don't like it. So how to give more space or more storage for the wardrobe, okay? So I'm going to make some changes here, okay? So basically this wall will have to go and also the door to the master bedroom, right? This door, right? We have to go. Okay, in this floor plan, right, I've indicated the walls that are going to be hacked in red. Okay, so um, it's quite clear that you can see uh, those walls will have to be demolished. Okay, in this um, revised floor plan, you can see that I've um, erected this um, partition wall in blue. Okay, um, those are the new walls that are being done at the master and um, one of the this common bedroom. Okay, I'm gonna show you um, what I'm gonna do next, right? For 
the new layout okay so first of all at the entrance area um, what you can do is uh, to increase the depth of the shoe cabinet okay all right this way okay so um, so basically you have this full height cabinet here um, overlapping this uh, DB cabinet would be a good idea because uh, it gives you a little bit more depth here and also to to replace the existing um, doors of the DB cabinet yeah so then um, you will have a consistent um, finish on the on the cabinet here itself rather than you have uh, two tones of uh, maybe white right okay um, kitchen okay where to place the fridge as mentioned just now right typically a fridge will be placed at, at this corner right but uh, in my new layout okay I'm going to extend this little partition wall a little bit here and then place the fridge here okay okay so um, it's somewhere here near the uh, dining and living so it's easier to access the fridge right this wall will be hacked away okay so what I'm going to do next will be to have a countertop okay somewhere here right with uh, it's like a breakfast table a small little breakfast table so you can put uh, two stools okay and then join to a low cabinet at the back okay this way okay so that will actually enlarge the cabinet depth right so once the fridge is here okay uh, what I'll do is I'll just uh, conceal up this storeroom door right and uh, once this is concealed I can have this uh, whole row of cabinet here right so actually you have a longer um, cabinet usage space right once you have shifted the fridge here Okay, so same, right, the sink will be here, right, you have ample of space, right, you can like do a cooker stove or hob somewhere in the middle, okay, whichever, whichever location that you, you know, think is fine, right. Um, over here, right, I'm going to hack this wall as well, okay. And then I'm going to extend this cabinet. Okay, so this cabinet acts as a storage cabinet, like a for the wet area. Okay, because the washing machine will be here. Okay, and then uh, with this little space here, right, I can make a it's like a full height. Right, it's like a full height um cabinet for the oven, a built-in oven. Okay, let's come back to the entrance again okay so in order to give uh, more storage space for the shoes um, i have uh, removed these two walls okay and uh, i have extended out right i've built a, a white cabinet here all right and flush with this uh, pillar and then like that okay so I have left a little space for a settee. Okay, so assessing from the front here. Okay, so this whole thing, right, this whole cabinet will be a full height shoe storage cabinet, right, followed by a settee. Okay, so this bedroom, right, the door, the door entrance has been shifted to here. Okay, right, with a little partition at this side here in this view you can see that uh, I have indicated the original walls in red so with this in mind okay I've uh, designed a full height TV 
feature Wacom storage cabinet here. Okay, so that gives the homeowners lots of storage, right? And then, um, of course, the sofa, right, will be here. It's like a three seater and then like it's like a L shape sofa. Okay. So where's the dining? Right? Where's the dining table? Okay, so um I have um, you know measured the the weave and the breadth of this area here and I found that uh it's actually like a square. Okay. So if it's a square space Right, it's always nice to have a round dining table, right? Somewhere in the middle here, right? Followed by five chairs. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Right, don't mind my sketches. Okay, so right, so um, still still leaving ample space, right, for the traffic. Okay, so it's not too cramped. Okay, and then uh, because since this is a square, right, um, I've uh, created a little bit of the four ceiling at the top here with uh, LED cove lights right around it. Okay, next come to the master bedroom. Okay, so I mentioned just now, typically you would have your wardrobe here right 1.8 meter which is insufficient so I would have to extend the wardrobe a little bit more so what I would be doing would be to right extend this wall out here okay as deep as the wardrobe and then I create another wardrobe here okay so there's a little walking um, corridor here. So what I would do would be to do a sliding door and then conceal the master bathroom. And, and in order to give even more wardrobe space for the homeowner, right, I have uh, Design another wardrobe here. Yeah, somewhere like here. Okay, so it's like a, a pair of wardrobe facing each other. And then the entrance to the master bedroom will be here. Okay. And since this homeowner likes um a TV, a TV in the master bedroom. Okay, so I've extended out this a little bit okay and then do it until the end right with a little dresser okay and uh, right because um, the wife has some bags collection so I'm going to use this space here right the door is here for some small display of her bags and uh, they managed to squeeze in a king size bed okay to side table right so the space here is good enough right it's quite it's quite wide it's not cramped and the space here as well it's not cramped right the bed will stretch until here okay so it's still very comfortable walking space all around so for this bedroom okay so i added a wall partition wall here and uh, another little wall here right deep enough for the wardrobe and then design the wardrobe here right with a platform for the bed okay so in order to give a little bit more book storage and storage for toys okay i'm using this part here right for a full height cabinet 
okay and the head board right the bit would be a single size or even a super single right tuck at this area all right and then not forgetting the writing desk right, a little writing desk a chair okay so i just do a little step here so this like one one two up to the platform okay so all these are you know this step can actually flip up and uh, store some toys as well so then that leaves this width enough for a door okay the blue lines are the new partition walls that I had built okay for this room um, the layout is almost the same as this bedroom okay so the beer full height cabinet here okay followed by a platform as well right, and the bed tuck against the wall here right and followed by a wardrobe Same thing, there'll be a writing desk with a chair and step up to a platform bit. Okay, for the common bathroom, okay, since the space is quite fixed, right, you can't do much to, to change the location of the WC or the basin. Right, so I've just designed a vanity. Right, with a new base in here right, and uh, well, you can do a shower screen here a shower screen here okay with a sliding door okay okay for the master bathroom right because this wall length or width is not deep enough right to to construct a, a standard size uh, vanity so the vanity cabinet depth will have to be slightly shallower okay so because of the shallow depth right you need to use a right it's kind of a overlapping uh, basin um, a semi recess basin yeah so the basin will protrude out a little bit from the vanity okay it will just protrude out a little bit right and uh, that would not hinder the um, entrance right when you walk in and out of the bathroom and uh, since the shower head is here so we just do a shower screen can be a fixed one right, or can be a fix with a door right personal preference You have seen how I've reconfigured the original floor plan into an interesting space planning. So now, let's take a look at the before and after.
If you have enjoyed my video so far, please like, subscribe and hit that bell button to watch my future videos. Stay safe, mask up and see you in my next video.